In this lesson, we are focusing on the geography of East Africa. This is just an introduction to the regional geography of East Africa. We are going to go through a number of topics and we expect that at least every student knows something about the location of East Africa. Um, somebody knows about latitudes and the longitudes. One knows something about the member countries which form East Africa. I'm sure this was taught in primary five. Um, one knows something about the surrounding countries which make up East Africa and some of the fiscal features of East Africa. So we are building on what some of the members know and what was covered before reaching the secondary school. Uh, moving further, uh, our general objective is that by the end of the topic, the learner should be able to describe the position, composition and the structure of East Africa. So just as you see the map of East Africa here, um, the countries which are there, uh, each one should be able to describe its position in terms of uh, location. One should be able to describe the composition in terms of the countries, the structure uh, of East Africa, and the, all the features which are there. Moving further, uh, we are going to focus on the size and the extent of East Africa and uh, we are going to describe this in terms of uh, the way we see uh, countries in terms of size, which one is bigger than the other and which one is uh, smaller than the other in the East African region. So the three countries of East Africa collectively cover a total area of one million 763,000 square kilometers, uh, of which uh, Tanzania is the largest country. Just as you see it, it is larger than Kenya and Uganda. And Tanzania alone covers a total area of 945,000 kilometers and has a population of 59 million estimated population, quoting the figures of the UN. Uh, this is followed by Kenya, which has a total size of uh, 582,000 square kilometers with a population of uh, around 53 million. And lastly, Uganda, which has a population of 45.7 million. And uh, this is the, the smallest. So when we are dealing with East Africa, we are basically focusing on the three countries. That means we are leaving out uh, Rwanda and Burundi and the uh, Southern Sudan. The reason being that uh, historically the three, Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, were the former British colonies and so the syllabus for East Africa only included the three countries. So we, con we move on to focus on um, the location of the countries and you'll see that uh, um, these countries being located in the eastern region of Africa, they are um, made up of uh, all these features as you can see. So now we focus on uh, the extent. The extent here we're referring to how far does East Africa extend north of the equator. You see this is the equator. And how far does it e extend south of the equator? And uh, how far does it extend east of the Greenwich Meridian? So you see that East Africa stretches from uh, 4 degrees north of the equator to 12 degrees south of the equator. We are, we are referring to north of the equator from this line uh, going up to, up to here okay um close to so almost close to five and then we also come um, south of the equator we are following these latitudes moving southwards then we move on to see that um, east africa also stretches from uh, about 29 degrees east of the greenwich meridian or this line is longitudes eastwards so east africa stretches from this line here going eastwards that is the description in terms of location and of course the region is three hours three hours uh, ahead of britain ghana and the countries which are found on the greenwich meridian 
and uh, we expect you uh, especially teachers to, f to use the following teaching and learning strategies uh, teachers should guide learners to locate and draw a map of east africa should also help learners describe the location the size the position and the composition of east africa and uh, finally uh, as an exercise uh, a teacher should support the learner to learn how to draw the map of east africa like the one you see here and the locate the major physical features like rivers lakes climate and the vegetation zones and the types different parts and be able to name the rivers the way you see you see them here and uh, here we expect you to refer to to the atlas uh moving f uh, back on the location of east africa we are expected to name the countries which are bordering East Africa. So you should be able to name the countries bordering East Africa, the ones you find on the on the eastern side. Here you find the, the Indian Ocean. We also find Somalia. We also find the North, uh, Ethiopia, and the South Sudan. Mm -hmm. And uh, all these countries, you should be able to name them, basing on what you see on the map 